Hi guys, welcome, it's Emily. And today we're doing a pick a card reading. The subject is what is being hidden from you right now? I have four piles here and I want you to choose a pile that you're feeling drawn to. I have one, two, three, and four. The first pile, I have an oil next to it and the oil is clarity. The second pile, the oil's name is release. The third pile, I have an oil named sacred mountain. And the fourth pile, the oil is dream catcher. Again, pile one, two, three, and four. You can choose by the number or you can choose by the oil. Take a moment to do that and we'll jump right in. Okay, remember, the question is, what is hiding from you right now? Ah, yes. Okay. What we have is the Six of Wands next to the Queen of Swords. So what I know immediately is that there could very well be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius involved here. And this could be a male or a female. When I see a queen in a spread, it could be either gender because that's how it comes up in the tarot. If you are Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, wonderful. And if you're not, it tells me that this is a strong person. It's a powerful, dominant person. And this person is looking to get things done. The six of wands next to it is telling me that they want to be victorious right now. They are looking for victory. They are looking to make something happen. The knight of coins with the ace of swords the Ace of Swords is telling me that there needs to be some clarity right now, okay? The Ace of Swords, it's drawing a line in the sand. It's saying, I have clarity on this. I know what I'm doing. I know what is up. The last card, jumping to it with the Four of Cups, this is a problem. Because what I'm seeing is that there's some sort of offering here that's being offered to you, but you're not interested in it. It's like you see it, but you're just kind of like, I don't know, I'm just, I don't know about that. You're restless, maybe even bored. And you just, you don't know what to do. You don't know what to do. But the funny thing is, is you are strong. You're strong and you're dominant and you want to be victorious about this. And the fact that I have the Knight of Coins this tells me that there is somehow money, prosperity, stability being grounded. There is something about this that has to do with this decision or something that needs to be clarified, okay? Because you don't have clarity on it. The Ace of Swords. Very important card is this beautiful temperance card. What Spirit is saying is that you need to get some, you need to moderate things, okay? Self-moderation. So perhaps things are becoming very juggled in your life right now. I hate to use the word obsessive, but it's almost as if like things are not being planned correctly. Um, and I think what's being hidden from you is the fact that you don't have clarity on the situation because you don't, you don't even know how to do it, okay? So like the fact that it could even be offered to you, you're like, well, hmm, I want to do it, but oh man, I just don't even know how to do it, so I'm not going to do it at all. And it's not specifying exactly what it is, but the fact that the Knight of Coins comes up, first of all, when I see a Knight, that tells me that there's some sort of possible travel involved or progression moving forward, making something happen. 
And the coins are money, stability, um, possible learning even. And, but you are a strong person. So what is being hidden here is like, hey, man, you're better than this. You deserve this. Own this. Make this happen. Do not sit back and not view the offering that is in front of you. And this is a beautiful card from a beautiful deck. And you're just sitting there. You're just sitting there. So what is being hidden from you is that this is here for you. The clarity is here from you. Take it. Own it. You can do this. Don't forget that, okay? All right. Let's move on to number two. What's number two? What is being hidden from you? Ah, my favorite card in the deck. Ooh, this one's tough. If you chose the second one, this one's tough. Okay, first card. Great card. The High Priestess. The High Priestess is your inner wisdom, your strength. It's the mother in us that it's like, it's like that feeling when you're walking down the street and you know that something is not right. It's that feeling where you're like, I'm not going to take that road today. And then later on the news, you find out there's a horrible accident. It's that strong intuition inside of you that you just know it's true. You know it's true. You don't have to be a psychic. You're like, yeah, I just feel it. You think of somebody and then they call. Um, it's your foresight. Now, what I have here is the Nine of Swords with the Five of Cups. The Nine of Swords, it's a ton of anxiety and worry and even possible nightmares or, or having trouble sleeping. The Five of Cups, spilled milk, um, unhappiness, regret, sorrow. Um, so something that's being hidden from you. The Seven of Cups, this is my very often, more than not, addiction card. Now, you don't have to necessarily have a substance addiction, okay, drugs or alcohol. You could be addicted to spending money. You could be addicted to sex. You could be addicted to gambling. Um, the other thing here could even be that you are unable to make the correct intuitive decision. It's like there's one terrific intuitive decision right here, dead set in the middle of the cards, but your mind, I, it's almost like an OCD thing. It's like, oh my God, my mind is just filled with things, but I cannot figure out that one intuitive decision. And the high priestess is on your side. She's right here. She's like, hey, but you do know it. You do know what to do. And, um, and by the way, we have a king of wands in this spread. Okay, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, and it's coming up as a female, it's, sorry, it's coming up as male. So, are you a male? Maybe, possibly. You could be even a female. You, you might be a fire sign, maybe not. But this person is, again, a strong, dominant person, a passionate person. Somebody who knows how to get things done, somebody who is good with their work, um, but you're also coming up as the Eight of Swords, not feeling your power, not knowing what to do, feeling as if you are trapped, feeling as if you, you don't have any options, okay? But there are options, okay? Ten of Wands, it's like... Everything is so hard. Why does it have to be so hard? But the thing is, is the high priestess is reminding you that you are a strong king or possibly queen of wands, okay? Um, this is coming up as a male, but like I said, the king and the queen of wands are very interchangeable in spreads. But right here, dead set in the middle, um, and there are seven cards, is the seven of cups. And it's really dead set in the middle and I'm very intuitively drawn to this card. So I feel that this is something that could be hidden from you. Um, and like I said, it's usually, it could, it's very often an addiction card. It's something that you're having a very hard time breaking away from and it looks like it has caused some pain. It has caused some regret, some betrayal. Um, and 
the high priestess is bringing it to the forefront for you. She's saying um, something something has to be done here. Um, you know, not feeling your power, um, and and I feel that it has caused quite a bit of despair. So perhaps this is something you need to look at. Okay, so that's what I'm getting with that. All right, moving on to number three. What is being hidden from you? Oh, wow. Ah. Okay, here's an interesting one. We have the Princess of Pentacles as the first card and then we have two pages here. Princess of Pentacles in this specific deck is the same thing as a page. Those are court cards. Um, so it's, we'll say page just so you can understand. It's a page of pentacles. We have a page of wands. We have a page of swords. Those are covering three of the different... Um, so we have swords, wands, pentacles, and cups in the tarot. Okay? Um, wands are Leo, Sag, Aries. Swords are Libra, Gemini, and Aquariuses. And pentacles are uh, Taurus, Capricorns, and Virgos. Again, if they're not the people necessarily that are um, coming up for you, they exhibit certain traits. But the fact that these are coming up, that tells me that we've got three different game players here. Okay, these could be children, because they're coming up as pages. Those are usually children. They are players that are coming up in this spread. What's very important here is the Seven of Swords. This is the one, the number one card in the tarot of lies, deceit, betrayal. Talk about something that that is not that, that you're that you're not seeing. I mean, this is a thief. This is somebody who has taken something. This is somebody who's being shady. This is somebody who is, um, they're, they're just not being honest at all. The, the last card is the Four of Swords. This is a extreme contemplation card. It's also somebody who could even be suffering from depression or anxiety because of this situation. The Temperance card is telling you to step back because it's one foot on water, one foot on land. This is calling for you to get stable. I have a feeling that this situation is really doing a number on you. Um, but I'll tell you right now, what is being hidden from you is that the Seven of Swords is, there is some deceit here. And there are three players. These could be men or women in your lives that are perhaps not coming up as king or queens. And when I see that, it's because they're not on your level. They are not operating on your level. You are way above them, whether you're, you're too good for them or they are just not up to your level. They're not in your league. Uh, you're out of their league, should I say. Um, like I said, it could be children. Um, but something is happening here and there is deceit, there is lies, there are things that you don't know about. And Spirit is like, listen man, you really need to contemplate this situation and think about what's going on here because there are things that are being hidden. I mean, this is like the name of the pick a card. And you need to do some real digging down because the stability and the groundwork of what's going on right now, you're not feeling it. It's not there, it's not happening. And you need to take care of yourself and you need to do some self-love and not just put all of your worry and all of your efforts into something that is not giving back to you, okay? Don't forget about you because you're number one. Okay, let's move on to number four. What is hiding from you right now? All right, so this is interesting. We have the Fool next to the Magician, and in the Tarot, the Fool is zero, and the Magician is number one. So it's just kind of interesting that we have zero and then one. Um, a little interesting. Um, 
you know, we got the Eight of Swords, um, Justice, Three of Wands, and the Hangman. So what this tells me is that, um, you know, I read the synchronicity of things. So the magician tells me that you are trying to make something happen. Okay, you're trying to manifest something. But with the fool, I'm getting a very non-committal energy. Okay, a lot of people will say, oh, well, the fool means that you're, you're embedded on a new journey. Um, yeah, that's true. And, you know, and you might want to take a risk. That's true. But um, I personally don't read the cards card for card. I have my own style. But what I'm getting here is that there's a bit of a non-commitment. And I believe it is because of this eight of swords. I believe it is because you are feeling like you've lost your power or that you do not feel that you are ready for this. Okay. I, this justice card is very, very telling. Um, you know, and even over here with the hangman, it there could be some legal issues, maybe, because the hangman does indicate major delays. But what I get with this hangman is that a sacrifice has to be made, a very large sacrifice. And I'm not sure that you are willing to make it. Right here in the middle is you looking out on the world and your back is turned, which I love, because it's like you don't know exactly what you want to do, but it's like the world is so big and you have plans and you're making plans and you're thinking about what you want because you want to make it happen, right? With the magician, you want to manifest it, but you're not sure. You've got big dreams, fantasies, but yet you're not, you're not moving forward. Okay, hangman, you're stagnant, you're stagnant energy, and you have to make a sacrifice. Something has to be made. The justice card is also about time, time that has to be spent. Kind of like when you go to jail, right? You have to do your time. Time has to be spent, and we see that scale in the justice card. And again, it's about being grounded. I can't tell you how many times I see this in my readings with people about how people are not grounded, they're not stable. Um, they're not stable in their environment to be able to create what they want. In order for you to manifest what you want, you have to be on a stable ground because if you don't, it's really hard for spirit to bring you what you want. And because of that, I feel that you're not ready to make the commitment that you want. And this is probably hiding from you and you're not aware of it. And that's why you're, you're stuck. You're like the Eight of Swords. You're like, well, I want to do this. I want to do this, but man, I don't know what the hell's going on here. I just can't figure it out. So you feel like the hangman. And you're like, well, I guess I'll just keep thinking about it. I'll think about it more and more and more. But I don't know, man. I'm just not going to do it. I'll just keep thinking about it. So that is hiding from you. So that's what I got with that. So I hope I didn't read too fast for you guys. I'm a pretty fast reader. The intuition comes through quick. I'm planning to do more readings for you guys and I am available to do private readings as well. I am going to put the captions in the, uh, the details in the captions for you. It is my number one pleasure to be able to offer you the clarity that you are looking for. That's my number one, um, my number one goal with my clients and thank you so much for letting me read for you today. Take care.